Gaurav, now the DGP, in fact, confirming to our colleagues that six passengers plus one pilot have unfortunately lost their lives in this uh, tragic accident this morning in Uttarakhand. What can you tell us about what have been able to gather from the ground? What happened, Gaurav? India today has been able to gather images um, of the crash site and if I may, um, these are the first images that you see. What you can also make out, uh, Polomi, it's raining very heavily. Uh, the initial information seems to indicate that the pilot had taken off. It's an, as you can see here, it's an Aryan aviation helicopter. Uh, it had six passengers on board. It had taken off from uh, Guptashi, was en route Kedarnath. Uh, this polymer incidentally is a 10 minute long flight. Uh, we ourselves have flown uh, this sector uh, very extensively, uh, not just while covering the Kedarnath uh, tragedy in 2013, but also restoration in 2014 and subsequently. And it's a short haul flight, but it's a very narrow valley through which the helicopter flies. And uh, once again, you can make out from these images that the helicopter crashed with some pilgrims who've been able to get to this place between Jangal Chatti and Garur Chatti. So that's, that's just the place where the, uh, fly, the, the uh, climb starts for the Kedarnath Shrine. So when you walk, it takes several hours. When you fly on board one of these helicopters, that charges about 4,500 rupees one way or uh, close to 9,000 rupees uh, both ways. Uh, it's just a 10-minute uh, short haul, uh, uh, you know, flight uh, from uh, Guptashi to uh, the Kedarnath Dham. There's a helipad there. Uh, but it's a narrow helipad, as you can uh, make out from the route. It's a very narrow valley through which the, uh, between two mountains that the helicopters fly. And the weather, when it packs up, Helicopter flying anyways, uh, you know, when we spoke to pilots, if you recall, there was a, a Mi-17 crash uh, during rescue operations um, and restoration operations. That time the helicopter crashed, the pilots of several other helicopters we interacted with uh, told us that through this narrow valley, it's a very unforgiving valley. When you fly in a, uh, on board a helicopter, for, for the pilots, it's very tricky. And most of the pilots, incidentally, are uh, most of them are ex-army aviation pilots. So what they do is, the helicopter is not only gaining height, it's also moving forward at the same time. Now, in this case, the helicopter apparently was trying to turn back, realizing that the weather had packed up. There was an envelope of fog. It could not move forward into the valley. But when it tried to turn back towards the helipad, we are told this crash took place. But of course, uh, these are just preliminary bits of information that are flying. We still will have to wait for an official inquiry to establish the cause of this extremely unfortunate heli crash.